Hello and welcome to this whiteboard discussion on hepatocellular carcinoma. I'm Dr. Richard Finn, an associate professor in the Department of Medicine, the Division of Hematology Oncology at the Geffen School of Medicine at UCLA. In this whiteboard video, I will discuss common adverse events associated with the use of tyrosine kinase inhibitors, or TKIs, and how best to alleviate these side effects. Well, the goal of molecular targeted agents is to inhibit receptor tyrosine kinases in tumor cells, the presence of tyrosine kinase receptors in healthy cells can result in side effects that must be mitigated during treatment with these agents. Some side effects can be anticipated based on the receptor tyrosine kinase profile. For example, side effects of TKIs that have anti-angiogenic effects, such as serafinib, lenvantinib, regorafenib, may include cardiovascular side effects such as hypertension, clotting events, and occasionally bleeding, and problems with wound healing. Further, side effects of these agents include thyroid dysfunction, hand-foot skin reaction, rash, diarrhea, as well as other less common toxicities. It is important to see patients on a regular basis to assess their side effects from these drugs. Even though these drugs are oral and not chemotherapy, in order to get patients to stay on these drugs and maximize their chance of getting clinical benefit, it is important that we mitigate any potential side effects early. For example, for hand-foot skin reaction, it is important to be proactive and tell patients to avoid potential inciting factors, wear comfortable shoes, in addition to avoid repetitive movements with their hands. Also using urea-based creams and emollients are useful. Hypertension can be managed with antihypertensive agents, and diarrhea, which sometimes can be a dose-limiting toxicity, should be managed proactively with dietary changes as well as anti-diarrhea drugs. In addition, patients may often require dose delays and dose reductions to help manage these side effects. The side effects for regorafenib are generally similar to those of serafenib. These include hoarseness, GI toxicity, and hand-foot skin reaction as mentioned above. Similarly, lenvantinib has a similar side effect profile as serafinib and regorafenib. Lenvantinib was compared directly to serafinib in the phase 3 study and has a higher incidence and higher grade of hypertension. However, it has a lesser incidence of hand-foot skin reaction. But like serafinib, it causes fatigue and diarrhea. General strategies for managing these adverse events from kinase inhibitors are monitoring dose reduction or modification, and in more serious cases, discontinuation. Thank you for your attention.